here, 1v1, Green Tooth Gorge, blue side. It's Oh My as a Force Commander, very good offense, fights in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support with buffs. And up against, on the red side, is Blessed Spartan as a Chaos Lord, durable and destructive commander, walks through objects and cannot be suppressed on very good offense and disruption fights mainly in melee combat. This is the Thousand Suns Elite Scheme. Not something you'd often see with a Chaos Lord, but looks pretty cool. Tactical Marines and CSM and more Heretics. Are we going to see some more Scouts? I guess not. Maybe straight into Devastators against the Chaos Lord, we will see. Looks like that's what he's going to be up to. Chaos Lord going straight for the middle because he knows anything he meets there, he can smack around pretty effectively. Even the Force Commander, since the Battle Cry won't knock him over or anything. There's that second Heretic. Just leaving the back capping to his units and he's going to send that Chaos Lord forward to try and harass something maybe run into these scouts up here straight into a node yep he's getting devastators force commander and tactical marines coming down this east side he's going to run into these heretics we'll see if spartan spots that quickly enough to not lose a model some decent damage off that side arm of the Chaos Lord there Nowhere near as painful as the combi flame we can get, of course. But uh, tearing some health off those scouts, he's going to come and decap this wreck point now. CSM and Heretics on his west side too. And then he's going to flow to the middle, I guess. Heretics have spotted the danger. Did not lose a single hit point. Now they do, though. Tactical Marines getting shots in and some capping is going to go on. Force Commander capping and Tactical Marines capping. Just facing them the right way. There we go. Heretic's moving inwards, gonna run into some scouts. Nope, oh my, spots it. Lots of dodging and diving from scouts early on. And heretics, I guess. Devastators are hitting the field for oh my. You can't suppress the Chaos Lord, but it will make him think twice before just barreling into your army head on. Gonna need to get that Dark Halo up or flank inwards, which you can do quite effectively on this map. The middle is rather open in that way scouts going for the garrison tactical is going to get pincered by two heretics they should both be doom blasting here it's a big mistake i think look at the health if they both doom blast it might have got a couple of models off them but as it stands they're running into devastators and are forced to retreat look at that as a foot retreat off that's the kind of thing that can give your opponent some real momentum when you retreat everything off like that maybe the chaos lord and the csm could have stayed in play but the Force Commander will come and grab this VP now. Oh, double Devastators? Havoc's on the way for Spartan. In fact, hitting the field right now. So I assumed he was going to get some Assault Marines. This might just be a Overwatch mistake. When he sees those Havocs, he'll wish he had Assault Marines, I think. Even though there's double Heretics. And that could be dicey with those Doom Blasts going in. Since Doom Blasts are, I believe, Plasma damage. So they're doing extra damage to Heavy Infantry. He does cancel those Devastators there. And now he's seen the Havoc. He's going to finish that cap. And because of that forward capping that Spartan did. Oh my, I wasn't really able to swarm across the field on that full retreat. And cap absolutely everything up. But he did a decent job. Scouts in retreat there. Here's the Devastators coming into play. So I assume, yep, here it is, the Dark Halo on the way. You can use that with some Corn Worship to get your Chaos Lord into certainly a single setup team. Relatively okay. The Havocs are going to suppress them, though, and that should be enough to let the Chaos Lord get in without even using his Dark Halo. Is he, is he quick enough to just run in without Worship against a setup team with the Dark Halo up? He might be. But obviously there's usually other stuff around. To shoot at him, these tactical marines surely going to get a flamer. Yep. There it is. Going to take down the generator at least. But here comes the Havocs and the Chaos Lord on a rear flank there. Can he get the node as well? Havocs are going to suppress them before they can, I think. Yep. And there's a retreat out. Assault marines on the field. So they're going to initiate against most likely the Havocs. Heretics are going to swarm them. Maybe if the Force Commander got Alacrity... He could sprint in alongside them afterwards and use Battle Cry to knock them around, perhaps. Killed a bunch of heretics there. Some XP for his Assault Marines already. Look at that. Already got a quarter of their bar. Heretics give you some decent XP these days. From 2.4.2. 2. 
And of course they are set to get a cost reduction in 2.5, which perhaps was the next stage of whatever Keltus' plan is for Heretics after that XP increase. Tactical Marines coming back out on the field. There is the initiation from the Assault Marines and Havoc's not sitting up there. I think they spotted those scouts today. This could be a nasty grenade. Heretics are swarming the Assault Marines as predicted. Getting those Doom Blasts off. Assault Marines are staying in play though and they are very ballsy here with another jump. The scouts did not throw their grenade for whatever reason. Tactical Marines in a little bit of trouble. As a Chaos Lord and Heretics on them. Chaos Lord doing power melee damage with his sword. And the Tactical Marines go down. Big loss. Big, big loss for Oh My. But that's what that drop pod is for. I don't think these Chaos Space Marines are going to go down. Neither is the Havoc. I don't think. Wow, got pretty close now. Got down to 38 hit points. 35 even with bolt pistols. Oh, 28. Does get away. In fact, Blessed Spartan did not lose a squad. Tactical Marines down. He's, gonna, he's got to use a drop pod here. Deliver some tacticals and no, he's just straight up repurchasing them. Did not lose an assault marine. They took a hell of a lot of damage early on, but he judged it pretty well, kept them in there, and then did another jump and stuff. There's some heretics, these guys with an aspiring champion, which is pretty bad news for those assault marines. The aspiring champion is a chaos marine with bolt pistol and chainsaw, does a pretty good job. What about these other guys? Wow, he's got double. Aspiring Champion Heretics, in fact. Battlecry could mess them up pretty good, especially if the Force Commander gets Iron, Halo, and Power Sword and that kind of thing. He can have a really strong kind of anti-heretic build. But I assume he's going to want to go Tier 2 from it. 340 to 474. Librarian straight up in Tier 2. Support those Devastators. Throw out some Smites on the Heretic Blobs as they run in. Could be really strong. And then he can use the Librarian to tie up the CSM. And he pick off models relatively quickly. Get that Merciless Strike up, obviously, as soon as you can from the Assault Marine Sergeant. Chaos Lord gets the decap using the Dark Halo and his 1,000 hit points to do so. He's got half of his XP bar. What about these Assault Marines? Look how much XP they've got. Force Commander's halfway through level 2 already. Havoc shooting up a node, not the most efficient usage of their weapon, but didn't have much else to do They Should be suppressing these assault marines now. There's a jump where you completely fluff that, and Havocs were easily able to dodge. Scouts in behind, really nicely done by Oh My, knowing that he has that grenade, gonna go for the heretics. Pretty nice throw, only gets one model. Pretty unlucky there for Oh My. Awesome play though. Knew that he was going to be able to force off that little blob of chaos stuff. Had his scouts in behind ready to track that grenade. And threw a pretty damn good one. Unlucky perhaps not to get another model or two. Maybe all of them apart from the aspiring champion. Both players going tier 2 around about the same time. Spartan going first. Blood Crusher might be a thing to get. You're going to force Oh My to get a bunch of anti-vehicle stuff they might not want to get. There's a lot of options of course with... This 1-1-1 one, one, one build can get Laz Cannon, perhaps a bit much overkill, and he could get the Melter Bomb and Missile Launcher. Does he have Vendor Shrouds? No. So he do, does have the option for the Laz Cannon. It's Raptors on the way for Blessed Spartan. That's pretty good. Get straight in on those Devastators and Tactical Marines with a Power Fist model, assuming he goes straight for the Aspiring Champion. Although, that's going to persuade Oh My even more so to get the Thunder Hammer up, I think. Which means you're going to want to use your Raptors as not as an initiator. Because if they initiate the jump, the Force Chronic just run up to them, start smacking them all over the place. If you wait for the engagement to kind of unfold, wait for the Force Commander to choose a target, and then jump away from him onto something else... You're forcing him to make a choice. Does he carry on tying up whatever he's gone to tie up? Or does he turn to engage the Raptors and waste time? Or rather, spend time. There's the Raptor jump. Nicely far away from the Force Commander. Not that he has the hammer right now. He's got a Dreadnought on the way. He's getting the Teleporter, which does suggest he's going for the hammer. But I thought he'd, he was just saying, screw it, I'll get a Dreadnought. I don't need a hammer. Got this thing. 
melee walk off for Space Marine starts off with those two close combat weapons 100 DPS heavy melee with a 40 heavy melee splash on each hit which is pretty painful has melee resistance of course so that might prompt a las cannon from Spartan Thunder Hammer on the way for the Force Commander. It's going to be painful. Raptors do not have their aspiring champion yet. He's gone for a Blood Crusher of all things. The enemy Didn't expect that to be built with a Dreadnought on the field. Needs to use its mobility, of course, and tie up the devs or the tactical marines. Laz Cannon is up for Blessed Spartan. Marco Zinch Havocs. setting up in a decent place. Dreadnought has dodged it though and there is the teleport into Thunderhammer destruction. Thunderhammer is set to get adjusted. Its special attack is no longer going to track indefinitely. It's going to track up to a distance of 12. It's just still pretty amazing but not ludicrous as it sometimes is now. Something gets halfway across the screen and the special attack goes off after the force commander was knocked down or something strange and he still hits 2-4-1 to 4-1-1 right now it's a 2-2-1 cap for oh my what is this heretics bashing power and why not it's a good use of their time double blood crushers for blessed spartan that was advanced target in vengeance rounds going off 900% more damage to vehicles Oh, Malignant Blindness using it to set up a little push here. Not sure how long that thing lasts exactly, but it's a decent amount of time. 20 seconds maybe. Gets in there with the Blood Crusher Dreadnought there to smack it around. No Melter Bomb goes off. That's going to be the end of the Blood Crusher, most likely. Did he still get the other one? Don't think so. Blood Crusher with Corn Worship trying to get away. Oh, it was a Thunder Hammer special attack. I think I took it down. Heretics wiped out. Wow, really bad engagement for Blessed Spartan. Not sure that Blood Crusher was a good idea. Good idea once he saw the Dreadnought. GG says Blessed Spartan. Dreadnought going to town here. Did he lose the CSM? Get away with eight models. Two. Sorry, eight hit points on two models. Wow. And GG says, oh my. Is game over? Tactical Marine Sergeant is going to get away. But that was that was pretty crazy. Two models on eight hit points. I played a game the other day where Assault Marines got away from me with three models and 38 hit points or something. I was not too pleased about that. But two models on eight is pretty nuts. Force Commander continuing to make a massive impact with this hammer. It's such a high impact weapon. Is there much reason to get anything else with the Force Commander? I mean, the fist is great and all, but that hammer is just destruction. Plague Marines on the field now for Blessed Spartan. Get some more heretics up as well. He lost a lot of stuff, which means Oh My got a lot of XP. Dreadnought almost leveled. Devastator's level 2, Assault Marines level 2, is Tactical Marine Squad level 2, Force Commander as we saw, almost level 4, teleports out. Are you going to cap here? I guess not, something's capping this side though, it's some nippy scouts, Force Commander now getting Artificer for some general durability and some more energy of course, which is important for teleporting around. Here are the heretics. Don't think it's worth getting a Spartan Champion. Oh, he gets one anyway. The enemy is claiming a victory point. I'd may, mainly use them for worship support at this point. Maybe throw grenade launchers on them. Understood. Worship support to help out these Plague Marines might be important if they want to try and finish off the, the enemy has Dreadnought. Still has the last cannon. But that's what happens when they get a setup team against Force Commander and you don't have a way to stop him doing this. Well there's his attempt at stopping him, Mantle of Hate, uh, which the Force Commander just said no thank you to apparently. 
That was weird. Seemed to lock him down for a second. There's that special attack tracking those heretics and finishing them off. Plague Marines getting exploded as well. So heretics didn't last very long. That was strange though. Force Commander seemed to be stunned or rather locked down by the drain life and then just said no. Started hitting stuff again. Raptors decapping. Blessed Spartan not giving up here. He's getting a Dreadnought in fact and tier 3 for Oh My. Bashing power also. Gonna take the node at least. Might even get a decap on it. That's gonna be dicey. Oh, direct hit on those assault marines, I think, with that plague marine missile. Dreadnought is still doing just fine. Now level two, getting some repairs. And uh, what is that gonna be? That dreadnought is that gonna be Mark of Zinch or is it gonna be Mark of Corn? I think Mark of Corn makes the most sense. Looking at Omai's entire army is really going to hurt those assault marines obviously we're going to help hurt the force commander as well might want to get some Marco Zinch marines as well but that is nasty grenade. grenade could finish them off no couldn't quite get it in the right place oh but here's the force commander with his teleporting shenanigans yep really 241 223 that thunder hammer is so annoying to play against sometimes. Look at this map though. What is Omai doing? He's not looking after his map very well, is he? Lesser Spartan has most of it. Has a 2 on cap. And is not that far away on VPs. And now has a Dreadnought with Mark of Corn. We'll see what this does. Chaos Lord not on the field right now? Where is he? Oh, he's there. He's going for the VP. So Melter Bomb on it, there it is, send the Dreadnought in, there is Blood Rage, increasing the damage of the Corn Dreadnought, also increasing its speed and damage resistance, although you completely lose control of it. Were those Vengeance Rounds hitting the Space Marine Dreadnought? I think they might have been. And down it goes, oh look at this, switches to the Power Fist, that is very expensive. It's going to go down. Let's the Spartan turning this around here. Another Dreadnought on the way for Spartan. He might lose this one. In fact, most likely will. One hit point down it goes. I think the mistake there from Oh My was just was engaging that Dreadnought in melee. Raptors jumping in. They never had their aspiring champion, I don't think. But look at this Chaos Lord now. He is so scary with Lightning Claws. Why doesn't that raise him? Oh, he's talking about the drain life. And I think that's because Battlecry, yeah, Battlecry was up. Which is a bit weird. I don't think... I don't think weapon not back immunity should stop that lifting you. Does it stop the other things lifting you? Well, here's the second Dreadnought. So what is he going to go for on this guy? Tier 3 for Oh My, I guess he wants a tank or something. Maybe not when he sees the second Dreadnought, he doesn't. Because that could get Marco Zinchi. He's still got Plague Marines and a potential, yeah. Here comes a Sparring Champion for a Power Fist on maybe rear armor or something. Force Commander's down, so he needs to repurchase. He's got tons of resources. Is he just going for a Land Raider here? He's not getting Terminators. Tier 3 for Blessed Spartan. With tons of red, so a nuke could be telling. 179 to 220 is a triple cap for Blessed Spartan, and that's what's kept him in this game. Kept his map pressure up, which has allowed him to respond. If he didn't have the map, he wouldn't have the resources to do any of this. So, maybe Oh My should have kept the pressure up a little bit better than he did. Tactical Marines now level 3. Scouts doing their thing over on this west side. Grabbing the VP, what he's trying to. Here come Raptors, though. Gonna drop a grenade at his feet, maybe. Nope. He might still try it. I think he did try and then cancelled it. What's going on over here? Dreadnought has found some Devastators. Scouts are whacked out here. Force melee on those Devastators. They might be gone. Do they get away? They do get away. Tactical Marines also out just fine. Assault Marines already back at base, but 
This game is really turned around. What does Oh My get? His next purchase obviously is absolutely vital here. Maybe playing into his hands a little bit by getting this second Dreadnought since Oh My already has a bunch of anti-vehicle stuff, including a Power Fist. Missile Launcher, Melter Bomb and Vengeance Rounds are now with Assault Terminators on the field. And they are going to do a really good job here because this Dreadnought does not have melee resistance. He just got some more CSM. Marco Zeech maybe. Lightning Claws will do a good job on them. Not good enough by themselves I don't think. 80 to 220. Blessed Spartan has really kept up his map control. Even when he was behind, maybe Oh My Dip was not quite aggressive enough with that Dreadnought. Never really kind of parked himself outside this power and kept it knocked down. Maybe he was afraid to with his Dreadnought against the Laz Cannon and the Plague Marines. But he didn't need to take his Dreadnought there. Could have kind of kept it back, jumped the Havocs and then got stuck in. Locked down that power a bit more than he did. But he's taking the middle back here. He's going to have a 2 to 1. And his Assault Terminators could be the game changer he's looking for. We're going to see Marco Zinc CSM, surely, yep. Already have Marco Zinc now getting a tone of war. And we're going to see a Mark of Conquest Dreadnought, which helps hugely against Assault Terminators with that melee resistance. He doesn't have... No, he doesn't have any heretics, though, for some corn worship goodness. Raptors, I guess, are going to jump the Devastators. Is he going to start with that though? Kale still is going to try and get a decap here before anything happens. Okay, it's forced Commander lead in the line. Gets lifted up though by Drain Life and that did a really good job. Raptors jumping the Devastators. That is them out of the game. But it's a staggered jump. Allows them to get some shots off. Kale still turns to engage the Assault Marines. And it's Assault Terminators versus the Dreadnought. And that Dreadnought has taken so much damage. From the Devastators goes down in seconds. Force Commander was able to keep the Raptors busy there. Wow. Dreadnought lasted so little time against that Devastator. At that range with Vengeance Rounds. Just pulverized it. That was so important from Oh My. That he went back to engage the Raptors. If he didn't, the Raptors would have had that Devastator tied up. Or the Tactical Marines tied up. Both of them would have helped somewhat. I'm not sure if it would have been enough. So the Dreadnought did way less than I thought it was going to. Now he's coming over to this VP, I guess, with his Devastators to cap. Or they might just be there to help out. Leave it to the Tactical Marines to cap, I guess. Maybe even put those Devastators into the garrison. Looks like that's probably what he's doing, though. He's just going to set them up here and cover this approach. Full retreat back for Oh My just to heal stuff up. Where are the Terminators though? Coming for a decap over here. Blessed Spartan now going west. Needs to defend his VP if he can. 64 to 138. He's going to get a triple here. Oh, look at this. Chaos Terminator is called in. Is he going for Lightning Claws? He is going for Lightning Claws. They will tear apart everything in Oh My's army. Literally. Here we go, Lightning Claw, Chaos Terminators, you can buff them up with Bloodlust and stuff as well. we got to see him respond with Lightning Claws as well, yep. Sacred Standard maybe? Who can make their Terminators better? They both have 4500 hit points, right? Yep. So there's that. Gonna cap mid with the Terminators. West side being taken by CSM. There we go. He does have the advantage, of course, of having lightning claws on the Chaos Sword, which will do a lot of damage to enemy Terminators. And he has Marco Zinc CSM. So this could be a fight, on paper at least, in favor of Spartan. But we'll see how it actually plays out because the Marco Zinc CSM might not be in play. Here they come. Raptors getting knocked around pretty badly. Yeah, Force Commander doing the right thing and going for the Marco Zinc CSM. Raptors having to jump out. The Loyalist Terminator is taking tons of damage here from the Chaos Lord and the Lightning Claw Chaos Terminator as they are shredding them pretty badly. They teleport out, allows them to get away, or does it? They're being chased here. 
really are being chased. These guys in their melee charge. I think they'll be fine. I think they'll be fine. 52 to 85. Tactical Marines now being shredded by the Chaos Lord. Oh my has... I think maybe... No. I don't think he's going to get away. Chaos Terminator is in retreat path. And down he goes. Chopped up. These guys did get away with one model and 150 hit points. And that is surely the game for Spartan. Just turn around and smack him. You'll take him down, I think. Oh, Orbital. Just to try and stop the cap, I think. That will do a lot of damage to the Terminators. They can't retreat for the damage resistance. Bang. Did tons of damage to them. Did it get... They did get a model as well. Force Commander trying to cap, but that is futile. With a Chaos Lord there and Marcos Inc. So he does get out, though. Plague Marines thinking about the cap. They got a decap. There's 46 to 85 a single. Force Commander now coming to the west side. So are they going to swap to a one to one? It's going to have a double for at least a few seconds here, Spartan. There it is. Oh my. Get a. What does he get now? What the heck does he get now? Just got to try and outmaneuver and outplay him, I think. 25 to 85. This Chaos Lord has been pretty badass since he got those Lightning Claws. He's level 6 now. Force Commander does get the VP there. Gonna be a 2 to 1 for Oh My. Very briefly, no. Plague Marines got the decap before he got the west side. He's so close. Tactical Marines on the way for Oh My. Maybe get some plasma gun action going. Plague Marines get away. Now it's Terminators on capping duty. But look at all this stuff coming over here to fight them. Last cannon even going to get shots in. Boom. Uh, Terminators being large targets. Ouch. Anti-big weapons have full accuracy against them. And that last cannon did tons of damage alongside those Marcos in CSM. And there's Drain Life. Raptors being very, very brave. Engaging Lightning Claw Terminators. But the Chaos Lord is there. Raptors dropping a model. But he's staying in there. Super Heavy Infantry does have some damage resistance against regular melee weapons but not against that power fist and down goes the lightning claw loyalist terminators 25 to 70 2 to 1 for oh my just desperation right now I'm gonna need a miracle to hold this game here comes the force commander is gonna catch some havocs unawares smack smack oh it didn't take him out though level three raptors can now suppress him there's the battle cry Gets the special off, but he's not going to get away. 18 to 67. Force Commander level 8. Talk about a badass hero. He did so much in this game. Generally used him very well. Picked the targets he needed to pick. GG says Spartan. And there's a triple. And there is the game. Awesome stuff. A Phobos was on the way. The game really turned on its head when that Chaos Dreadnought hit the field. And then Spartan started to fall away in the big engagements because of that thunder hammer it was all because of that thunder hammer was really winning engagements for oh my but then the lightning claw chaos terminators hit the field and he just had he was set up better to fight terminators with the marcos in csm the last cannon even the plague marines doing work with their missile launcher and of course the lightning claw chaos lord who got up to level seven at the end but there you have it guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time